Hello, cool artisans. My name is Shonda, and welcome to my channel under, under the needle quilting and crafts. Excuse me. So, I just got my Open Gate Quilt subscription box. So, let's see what's in it. I ain't combed my hair today. It is what it is. Okay. So, let's get my cutter. Still love this thing. I need another one of these. I love this thing. I haven't had to replace the blade yet. I don't even remember if it came with replacement blades or not. Hmm. Now this subscription, um, this is curated by Monique Jacobs over at Open Gate Quilt Subscription Box. It is $42 a month. And you can add on a bonus fat quarter pack for 12 bucks. You get four matching fat quarters in a pattern. And um, if you want the backing for your project, you can add that on as well. Um, every month Mo Monique does a, um, a live or tutorial where she walks you through how to put it together. I did not get my large project put together. Um, I set it aside um, because I, I was thinking about it. If I was going to have an opportunity to do it or not, it's a simple project. But I didn't get a chance to do it because I was um, actually consumed with my other three projects. <laughs> so I did not get to do that. But I did make the little bag. The smaller project. I did make that. And all I did was I just stuck my I just stuck my best press and stuff in there. Instead of just having it sitting. Because normally I just have it sitting up there. But since I made the bag, I just stuck it in the little bag. And um, I did make the bag in, improperly. That seam is supposed to be on the inside. Um, but that that was me. I did that. All right, so let's see what we got. I'm excited. This is what it looks like. I do see some blue. I see some blue. We got some blue fabric. I like blue. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, okay, this is great. This is great. Okay. All right, <laughs> so each month we get a small project, we get a larger product project, and then we get some kind of tool or notion or a pattern, just some extras in there. Um, there's always thread, the thread always matches, right? So let's see. So our small project this month is a set of four coasters. It includes coaster fabric, isn't that gorgeous? From Land of Enchantment by Seridity for Moda Fabrics. I'm not familiar with Seridity, so they must be relatively new to Moda, maybe in the past couple years. I don't follow fabric lines as much as I used to, but I do not remember Seridity for Moda. And of course, we get our backing fabric and fusible fleece. I want to know if the, if the square motifs are this. This is gorgeous. Are these boutiques? Okay, this is um this is definitely batik. <laughs> and then we have our our fusible, which you can see. I love that we get everything. And these are these are the four motifs for the coasters. This is gonna get made. This actually matches my house. This actually looks like a table that I have in my living room. And I know y'all not gonna believe me, so I'm gonna go take a picture and show y'all. Okay, I went and took a picture. So I have a table. It's like one of those lift top tables and all around it, it has symbols just like this. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I swear. <laughs> like, I don't be making stuff up. Like, when she... I love everything she puts together. I just love everything she puts together. I really do. I genuinely do. These are getting made. This ain't even going. This is going to stay over here. This is going to stay over here. Because <laughs> I'm making this. Like, these are, and then the, it matches, it matches my, I mean, how? Huh? These are getting made. These are getting made. Quickly. Definitely going to make that. Definitely making the four coasters. Definitely. Okay, and our large project, what? look at this, 
our large project is uh, the special deal quilt. So we're talking Kim Deal, which I'm I'm a fan of. I don't like a lot of fabric like this, but I like hers. Um, I like hers. <laughs> so we are making. Oh my god! Look at that! Oh my! Look at that! Look how much fabric is in here! Holy moly! I love Kim Deal's fabric. And I think it's, um, I'm not going to lie, it's the, it's the, it's the color that she brings in. A lot of times, um, people that do this style of fabric, it'll be just a little too dark, but something about the way Kim works in the pinks and the reds to kind of, and then the, like the teals, the, the baby blues or the robin neck blue, like it just kind of brightens it up a little bit. Um, I bought... When she came out with the line with Simple Whatnots 10, I bought all, every skew. I bought every skew. Um, and I made... I made little kits. <laughs> where I cut... I got all the Simple Whatnot uh, patterns. And I cut up the fabric that I bought into little kits. <laughs> so that I could make little minis. I've only made one, though. <laughs> There's like seven or eight of them I've made one. I've just been too busy. I haven't been really wanting to work on minis, but um, but this this is gonna get made too. I'm not sure when though, but I think this is gonna be a 2024 project. And I think this might what size is this? 27 by 27. This might replace that right there, that seascape one that also came in Monique's um in this in this subscription. And so I think I might make this and um and then hang it and then hang it over there i think that's what's going to happen here but i just i just i cannot believe how much fabric is here it's a lot this is a lot of fabric that's a yard I don't even know. I don't even know. This is a lot of fabric. I wish I could just tally it all up, but it's going to take a minute. I, I got a minute. I don't know why I had to do that, but I did. So this is about a yard and a half. Crazy. Crazy. I can't wait to make this. If I wasn't already doing a leader ender project, this would be my leader ender project. Get this back, get it. Ah. I can't. I'm struggling to get it back in the bag. There we go. And I put it in backwards. Anyway, I'll fix it later. All right. Hmm. And so then our fabric, I mean our our thread, our thread. And I will be using this to make these because these are getting made. These are getting made quickly. And our notion of the month is a pin picker. So I'm imagining that this is a magnetic type thing. So if you've got some, some pins, you can do one of those numbers and pick them up. I don't use these too much because all of my pin cushions are magnetic. So I normally just wave my pin cushion around and then the, the, the pins just kind of be where they're at, be where they're supposed to be. But I feel like this might be good for others. Oh, look how. Oh. It's long. I don't know what I would use this for, but I'm fine find something. 
I'm going to find something. That's our notion of the month. I've never seen this before. It's a pin picker upper. <laughs> I've never, never seen this. I've never seen this. Interesting. I mean, could be a weapon. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. And then we have also a bonus fat quarter from the line XOXO by April Rosenthal for Moda. This is cute. I'm not familiar with this line either, but again, like I said, I don't I don't follow all the designers quite like I used to because um, I just was too tempted to buy fabric. Um, when I'm just seeing all the lines come out and I'm like, ooh, 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 and just all the ooing and eyeing, and I just, it, I, Mm -mm. I need you to just ooh and ah over what I have because I'm pretty sure I've got fabric over there that I've forgotten about. I'm, I'm certain of it. I've got my camera all. Um, I'm pretty sure that I've got fabric over there that I've completely forgotten that I, that I own. So um, I do want to go through it though. Not right now. Um, but I think I've decided to add to my 2024 goals um, to go through all of my fabric and to pull out the things that I know I'm not going to sew with realistically. Um, but that's for another day. And then the last, oh, this pattern. Oh. Oh. She's killing me with the pattern. Okay, so the add-on this month, we got four fat quarters from the line... American Gatherings 2 by Primitive Gatherings for Moda. Very nice. Very nice. This is a super cool print right here. This is Americana without beating your head, beating yourself over the head with flags. You know, we can we can have Americana without beating ourselves over the head with flags. Now I threw um, we throw a Fourth of July party every year. I actually might use this. Now, y'all know big, I'm not really big on Americana, but I actually might use this. I, um, so these are the four fat quarters, and I think I might use these and make a table runner. Because right now, the table runner that I'm having, that I'm using, is um, it's another one of Monique's patterns that I made, um, and that's the one that resides on my table right now. But it would be kind of a nice touch for Fourth of July to kind of have like. A decorative table runner because we always we always intend to like decorate and then we don't like last year we bought streamers and stuff like that we didn't put any of it up because we were so tired from getting everything ready that we just didn't want to we didn't feel like it um so nothing happened but this is something that I can do ahead of time um you know streamers they kind of have to be hung the day of or the day before um and we're usually busy cooking and prepping. So, and like getting the house ready and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't, like the decorations are different. But this, this I can do ahead of time. So, I might try to find me a fat quarter friendly pattern. Something that uses four fat quarters or, you know, and make me some kind of table runner. To go, um, to go for my 4th of July. But honestly, I'm most excited and I love this. I love this. But it's just so friggin' uncanny to me that I literally have a table that that has these symbols. Like, that is so stinking weird to me. I mean, they're not, like, exactly the same, but, like, pretty stinking close. Like, really close that's incredible absolutely incredible so let me recap let's recap to recap our small project is the set of coasters that um, I will be making post haste um, <laughs> immediately I am super excited about this this isn't even going to get put away because this is going to go right over to my sewing machine because this is going to get made. Um, I don't know if it'll be, to, well, it won't be today. I got I got a lot to do today. Unfortunately, it won't be today. Um, 
I want to start it immediately. Like I would like to just start sewing on it like right this second. Um, but I got things to do. Anyway, so that's our first, that's our, that's our small project. Oh, let me show y'all what a finished one, what the finished ones look like. That's all four of them together. When I tell you I can't wait to make these, I don't even know if I'm going to use them as coasters. I might try to find little frames. I don't like, I want to frame them now. I'm just kidding. I'm going to make coasters. And then our larger project is the special deal quilt, which I put back in the package backwards. And I'm going to try to fix that without ripping it. Um, we'll see how that goes. But this is what it looks like. I love the pinks. And I love the... Oh, I didn't even realize the pattern. Wait a minute. How did I not catch that? The three, the three pinks... Um, that kind of go down <laughs> and then so those all three so it's just you're making three blocks so these all these three blocks diagonally are all the same these three pink ones and then this corner block this side block and this block are all the same no sorry yeah this one this one this one and this one are all the same and then the other three blocks are the same one two and three so that's kind of cool because you're only making three blocks that makes it even easier you're only making three unique blocks and it looks like each one has some probably some strip piecing in there to make that grid so you can see it really strong right here in the blue ones I'll show you so this is probably some kind of strip pieced unit that we can put together easily And it's the same unit in the other blocks. It's just the contrast isn't quite as, as high on the, on the camera the way it's coming through. But you can see it really well with the pink and blue because that blue almost looks black, but it's not. It's pink. I mean, it's blue. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be great. Um, actually, no, that's brown. So it looks like the, that pink and that brown are paired up. And then it looks like uh, these two are pa oh they're in they're in the <laughs> they're in order <laughs> duh so these two are paired up these two are paired up and these two are paired up and then this would be your binding <laughs> I'm sorry I don't <laughs> oh my gosh I feel so silly sometimes <laughs> of course she paired them up of course she did I mean of course she paired them. <laughs> I just didn't expect anything less. And then our bonus fat quarter is this lovely fat quarter here um, from the line XOXO by April Rosenthal. I don't know how she folds these, but um, I'll never be able to fold it back how she had it. But this is cute. This is cute. I don't know what this will become yet. But this matches some fabric that I own. So... It's going to go in my stash, my fat quarter stash. So I have a stash of fat quarters that don't belong to any particular line. And um, that's, that it, it'll go with those. And then I pull from those like what I'm looking for, like um, like a small project and I need a backing or if I just want to coordinate or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. And then our... Fat quarter stash buster, should you choose to add it on, we have four fat quarters from American Gatherings 2 by Primitive Gatherings. And this is the pattern. I forgot to show y'all the pattern. These patterns are so friendly. Like all the, all the patterns that have come in the um, stash buster box are just really friggin' friendly. Um, this measures 53 and a half by 66. They're just really friendly patterns to make. And this pattern is called Jigsaw, and it uses 20 fat quarters for block sashing and binding. Um, I love patterns like this. That's why I love Blueprint when they were around, because they had a lot of patterns that used 20 fat quarters. And then, so when you buy the bundle, and no background. So 20 fat quarters, no background. I cannot tell you how many, 
bundles of 20 fat quarters that I have from Blueprint and then from Island Batik. I'd probably make this with Batiks. Um, and this goes together pretty easy. This is strip pieced. So we're strip piecing and then we're sub cutting and then we're sewing back together, which you can kind of tell us what we're doing. Mm, and it looks like I'm trying to see how this kind of goes. Um, for the pressing. Pressing toward. So that's going to be pressed that way. Um, I don't know. This is, I'm taking too long. I'm taking too long because now I'm just reading the pattern. Um, but this is the pattern again. And look, it looks like there's a there's a scrappy, a narrow scrappy border on here as well. But this is this will be easy to make as well because again, um, this entire thing is you're just strip piecing, sub cutting, and then sewing back together. This is an easy project, uh, very beginner friendly, very beginner friendly. I gotta figure out. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this fabric pack out as well because I think I really would like to make something. Um, for 4th of July. I think I would like to have um, some type of table runner or table topper. And, um, hey, I might be able to use this pattern. <laughs> ah! I think I can. I think I can. I think I've got four fabrics and the strip sets. Well, that's the only, the only problem is that I would need, I don't know, maybe I can't, maybe I, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the pa the fabrics would match up too much. Mm. We'll see. I'll keep looking, but that is it for me. And I'll see you guys next video.